Many recall Robert Urich, the charismatic actor known for his roles in Vegas and Spencer for Hire. But behind the glitter of Hollywood, a heart-wrenching tale unfolds. This narrative takes an unsettling turn as we delve into the tragic deaths of Urich and his wife. Let's explore the profound grief and loss that marked the end of this beloved star's journey. Robert Urich, a beloved American television actor, gained fame for his rugged good looks and effortless charm. His career took off in the early 1970s, and over the decades, viewers grew fond of his work in various shows. However, behind the scenes, the actor led a different life than many assumed. Throughout his successful career, Urich remained humble and down-to-earth. He had a way of connecting with audiences, drawing them into each role he played. Whether it was through action dramas like Spencer for Hire or comedies like Soap, Urich's magnetic personality shone through. Despite his seemingly perfect image, the actor confronted adversity when diagnosed with synovial cell sarcoma, a rare type of cancer affecting soft tissues surrounding joints. Rather than succumbing to despair, Urich decided to fight back, refusing to let illness define him. The diagnosis came during what would have been considered the prime of Urich's professional life. But even amidst treatments and surgeries, he continued working. In fact, some might argue that these challenges gave rise to some of his most memorable performances. Urich approached his struggle with unwavering positivity and grace, inspiring others facing their own battles along the way. Although synovial cell sarcoma often carries a poor prognosis, Urich persisted, proving himself a fighter both on and off screen. His story serves as a reminder that appearances can be deceiving. While we may perceive celebrities as living idyllic lives, they too face hardships just like everyone else. Through sharing his journey, Urich showed strength and resilience, leaving behind a legacy worth remembering. Robert Urich, who hailed from Toronto, Ohio, inspired countless people through his uplifting speeches and tireless work towards raising funds for cancer research. Born in December 1946, Urich's parents, John P. Urich, a steelworker, and Cecilia Rich, were always by his side, supporting him throughout his life and career. Growing up in a hardworking family, Urich developed a strong sense of determination and dedication early on. These qualities would later serve him well in his successful acting career, which spanned over three decades and included numerous memorable roles in both television and film. Despite facing personal challenges, including a battle with synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer, Urich remained committed to helping others. He used his public platform to advocate for cancer research and established a cancer fund to support those affected by the disease. Through his advocacy and philanthropy, Urich made a significant impact on the lives of many. Urich's positive attitude and unwavering spirit touched everyone he met, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and motivate people today. As a testament to his lasting influence, fans still look back fondly on his iconic performances and remember him for his generosity and kindness. Through his films, shows, and charitable endeavors, Urich created a body of work that has left a mark on the entertainment industry and beyond. His contributions have transcended time and continue to resonate with audiences young and old. For those who grew up watching this classic actor, his memory remains a cherished part of their childhood. In honor of Urich's inspiring story, let us all strive to make a difference in our own ways. Whether it be through volunteering, donating to charity, or simply spreading positivity and joy to those around us. By doing so, we can carry on Urich's legacy and keep his memory alive. Robert Urich's education began at a Byzantine Roman Catholic school, where he likely received a strong foundation in faith and academics. Later, he won a football scholarship to Florida State University. This opportunity allowed him to pursue higher education while also continuing his passion for sports. After completing his undergraduate studies, Urich went on to pursue a master's degree at Michigan State. His dedication to education demonstrates his commitment to personal growth and development. After graduating from Michigan State, Urich embarked on a career in media. He first worked as an account executive for a radio station, gaining valuable experience in marketing and communications. From there, he moved on to become a TV weatherman, further honing his skills in broadcasting. These early experiences in media laid the groundwork for his successful acting career, helping him develop the necessary communication and performance skills. Throughout his life, Robert Urich remained dedicated to learning and self-improvement, seeking out opportunities to grow both personally and professionally. Whether it was through his education or his early career experiences, Urich consistently demonstrated a willingness to take on new challenges 
and expand his horizons. Robert Urich's acting career took off in 1972, when he secured a role in the popular TV series The FBI. This opportunity allowed him to sharpen his skills and gain recognition in the industry. In the following year, Urich landed a leading role in the movie Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice, which further established his presence in Hollywood. However, it was Urich's appearance in the 1973 film Magnum Force that marked his silver screen debut. He shared the spotlight with none other than legendary actor Clint Eastwood, playing a vigilante motorcycle patrol police officer. Their on-screen chemistry added depth to the storyline, making this action-packed movie a must-watch classic. Undoubtedly, these early roles set the stage for Urich's successful acting career spanning over three decades, during which he captivated audiences with his charismatic performances in various films and shows. His work continues to resonate with fans even today. In 1975, Robert Urich took on a groundbreaking role that would define his career, playing Officer Jim Street in the intense police drama SWAT. This iconic part propelled him into stardom, and solidified his place in television history. That same year, Urich embarked on another significant journey when he tied the knot with actress Heather Menzies, who had gained fame for her memorable performance in The Sound of Music. Their union quickly became a cherished love story that went beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Menzies stood by Urich's side during challenging times, including his brave battle against synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer. Despite facing daunting odds, their partnership remained unwavering throughout this difficult period. This tale of love and resilience demonstrates how two individuals can build a life together while navigating the ever-changing landscape of the entertainment industry. Through it all, they managed to maintain a strong bond, creating a haven away from the pressures of fame. After wrapping up SWAT, actor Robert Urich found success in various roles, including his part in the popular series Soap. He then went on to lead shows like Vegas and Spencer for Hire, further cementing his status in television history. His talent was undeniable, making him a beloved figure who graced the small screen with charm and wit throughout the late 70s and 80s. Amongst these accomplishments, Urich also took on leading roles in several films during the 90s. However, it was during the filming of The Lazarus Man when he faced an unimaginable challenge, discovering he had synovial cell sarcoma, a rare form of cancer. This life-altering news did not deter the dedicated actor from continuing his work, nor diminishing his advocacy for cancer research. Despite being diagnosed with a serious illness, Urich remained committed to his craft and used his platform to raise awareness around cancer, turning his personal struggle into an opportunity to make a difference. Throughout his career, the actor left an indelible mark on audiences worldwide, demonstrating resilience and determination both on and off-screen. After being diagnosed with synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer, actor Robert Urich decided to take legal action against Castle Rock Television. The network had canceled his popular Western series, The Lazarus Man, shortly after his diagnosis, leading Urich to believe that his health condition played a role in the decision. The lawsuit was settled out of court for an undisclosed sum. Despite the challenges he faced, Urich remained committed to advocating for cancer research and awareness. He became the host of the medical documentary series Healthy Jeezer, which focused on providing helpful tips and advice for maintaining one's health as they age. Through his work on the show, Urich hoped to educate others about the importance of early detection and treatment for various diseases. In addition to his work in television, Urich also took steps to make a difference in the world of cancer research. He established the Urich Fund, which raised money for research into synovial sarcoma and other forms of cancer. Urich was passionate about finding new treatments and therapies that could help those affected by the disease. As a further demonstration of his commitment to this cause, Urich donated his entire winnings from an appearance on the game show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire to Cancer Research. The generous gesture highlighted Urich's dedication to making a positive impact in the lives of others, even amidst his own personal struggles. Throughout his career, Robert Urich proved himself to be not just a talented actor, but also a dedicated advocate and philanthropist. His efforts to support cancer research and raise awareness about the disease will continue to resonate with audiences for years to come. After being declared cancer-free in 1998, the actor returned to TV in Love Boat the next wave and on Broadway in Chicago, but his cancer returned in 2001. Robert Urich passed away on April 16, 2002, in Thousand Oaks, California, after a long battle with cancer. 
Heather Menzies, the talented actress and ballerina, is most famous for her role as Louisa von Trapp in the beloved classic The Sound of Music. But her career didn't stop there. She went on to appear in numerous television shows and films throughout the 1970s and 80s. Despite facing personal struggles, including multiple miscarriages, Menzies found joy in adoption, welcoming three children into her life. Menzies began acting at a young age, first appearing on screen in the mid-1960s. However, it wasn't until her breakout role in The Sound of Music that she gained widespread recognition. In the years that followed, she continued to act, gracing both the small and big screens. She starred alongside Robert Urich in the popular detective series Vegas, further solidifying her status as a respected actress. However, behind the scenes, Menzies and her husband, actor Robert Urich, struggled to start a family. After experiencing three heartbreaking miscarriages, they turned to adoption. Together, they welcomed three beautiful children into their lives, giving them a loving home and creating a happy family. Despite the challenges they faced, Menzies remained dedicated to her craft and her family. Her resilience and determination serve as an inspiration to all who know her story. Through her work and her love for her family, she has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and beyond. Robert Urich, the actor, was a versatile performer. He played various roles in his career. His notable performances include The Odd Couple and In the World of Women. The actor passed away due to cancer. After Urich's death, Menzies continued to fight cancer through the Robert Urich Foundation. In 2017, Heather Menzies passed away on Christmas Eve, surrounded by her family, having dedicated her life to cancer advocacy. Renowned actor Robert Urich and his wife, Heather Menzies, were not just partners in life but also united in their fight against cancer. After losing their youngest child to a rare form of cancer, they became advocates for cancer research and support organizations. Following Urich's own battle with synovial sarcoma, a type of cancer he developed during the production of a television series, the couple established the Robert Urich Foundation to fund cancer research and patient care programs. Urich's eldest son, Ryan, was deeply moved by his father's journey and chose to pursue a career in medicine. Driven by the desire to make a difference in people's lives, much like his father did through acting, Ryan now serves as a beacon of hope for those affected by cancer. His work continues the legacy of compassion, resilience, and commitment to making the world a better place that both of his parents embodied. Heather Menzies remained dedicated to continuing her husband's mission after his passing in 2007. She continued to raise awareness and funds for cancer research while honoring the memory of her beloved partner. Together, Robert Urich and Heather Menzies left an indelible mark on the world of philanthropy and cancer advocacy, inspiring countless individuals along the way. Their story remains a testament to the power of love, determination, and the unwavering belief in a brighter future for all. Robert Urich, an actor known for his work in both television and film, found himself facing one of the biggest challenges of his life when he was diagnosed with synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer, in 1996. Despite undergoing surgery and aggressive treatment, the disease returned two years later. However, Urich refused to let his diagnosis define him. Instead, he used his platform to raise awareness and funds for cancer research. Alongside his wife, Heather Menzies Urich, who had also been diagnosed with cancer, Urich became a passionate advocate for those affected by the disease. Together, they founded the Cancer Survivors Alliance, an organization dedicated to supporting cancer survivors and their families. Through fundraising events and public appearances, the couple worked tirelessly to bring attention to the ongoing battle against cancer. But Urich's advocacy went beyond just raising awareness. In addition to his work with the Cancer Survivors Alliance, he also served as a spokesperson for the National Institute of Health's Cancer Net program, which provides comprehensive information about cancer diagnoses, treatments, and clinical trials. By sharing his own experiences and providing valuable resources to those in need, Urich made a significant impact in the lives of countless individuals. Tragically, Urich passed away in 2002 due to complications related to his cancer. But his legacy lived on through the continued efforts of his wife and the organizations he supported. Their story serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of hope, perseverance, and giving back to the community. To this day, their advocacy work continues to inspire and empower others to join the fight against cancer. Throughout his career, Robert Urich left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. But it was his courageous battle against cancer and his unwavering commitment to helping others that truly set him apart. 
His story is a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the impact that one person can have in making a difference in the world. In the vast landscape of Hollywood, Robert Urich stood out as a talented actor who left his mark on both television and film. Born on December 19, 1946, in Toronto, Ohio, Urich's family moved around frequently during his childhood due to his father's job as a mining engineer. Despite the constant changes, Urich found stability in sports and drama, pursuing both throughout high school and college. Urich's acting career began in earnest after he graduated from Michigan State University with a degree in broadcasting and advertising. He started working in local theater productions before moving on to commercial work and eventually landing guest spots on popular TV shows like Gunsmoke and Hawaii Five-0. However, it was his starring role in the hit series Spencer for Hire, based on Robert B. Parker's best-selling novels, that truly cemented Urich's status as a leading man. Throughout his career, Urich appeared in numerous films and TV shows, including Magnum P.I., Lonesome Dove, and The Love Boat. He also lent his voice to animated projects like Spider-Man and Gargoyles. But beyond his success as an actor, Urich will also be remembered for his philanthropy. He served as the national spokesperson for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society and founded the Robert Urich Foundation to support cancer research. Despite being diagnosed with synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer, in 1995, Urich continued to act and advocate for causes close to his heart until his passing on April 16, 2002. His legacy lives on through his impressive body of work and the many lives he touched along the way. Growing up in Toronto, Ohio, Robert Urich was surrounded by a close-knit family who supported his dreams. Born on December 19, 1946, he was the son of John Urich, a factory worker, and Cecilia Urich, a hospital administrator. His modest upbringing instilled strong values and a solid work ethic in him. As a young boy, Urich developed an interest in acting after watching classic films and attending local theater performances. He pursued this passion through high school plays and later at Florida State University, where he studied drama. During his time at FSU, he met Vincent Dowling, then head of the Asalo Repertory Theater in Sarasota, who became a significant influence and mentor. Under Dowling's guidance, Urich honed his skills and gained professional experience. Upon graduation, Urich moved to New York City to pursue his acting career. There, he encountered another influential figure, actor James Earl Jones, who encouraged him to stay committed despite facing numerous auditions and rejections. Following advice from both Dowling and Jones, Urich persevered and eventually found success in television and film. With determination and support from those around him, Urich carved out a successful and memorable career spanning decades. Growing up in Toronto, Ontario, Robert Urich was always drawn to acting. As a young boy, he would put on plays for his family using puppets he made himself. His parents encouraged his creativity, and by the time he reached high school, Robert was involved in all the drama productions. A turning point came during his senior year when he landed the lead role in the school play. The experience ignited a fire within him, solidifying his dream of becoming a professional actor. After graduation, Robert attended college on a football scholarship, but continued to study theater and hone his craft. Upon earning his degree, Robert moved to New York City to pursue his passion. He struggled initially, working odd jobs while auditioning for roles. However, his determination paid off when he secured a part in a national touring company production. This opportunity led to more significant roles and eventually brought Robert to Hollywood's doorstep. Throughout his successful career, Robert remained grounded and grateful for the opportunities that allowed him to follow his dreams. In interviews, he often spoke about how fortunate he felt to have turned his childhood love for storytelling into a thriving profession. And so, it all began with a spark, a creative passion kindled early on and nurtured throughout his life. Born in Toronto, Ohio, in 1946, Robert Urich experienced his share of hardships early on. Financial struggles were commonplace in his childhood home, shaping his determination to build a better life. After high school, he worked various jobs, including stints as a groundskeeper and a claims adjuster while pursuing higher education. Despite facing industry skepticism upon entering the acting world, Urich remained undeterred. He once shared, I was told I'd never make it because I wasn't good looking enough. Rather than succumbing to self-doubt, Urich honed his craft, studying drama at Michigan State University and later at the prestigious London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. His dedication paid off when he secured roles in television series like Spencer for Hire 
and Ugly Betty, solidifying his status as a respected actor. One notable challenge Yurich encountered was being diagnosed with synovial cell sarcoma, a rare form of cancer, in 1996. Instead of surrendering to despair, he channeled his energy into advocacy work, becoming a passionate spokesperson for the American Cancer Society and raising awareness about the disease. By leveraging his platform for good, Yurich demonstrated remarkable resilience during difficult times. Throughout his career, Yurich embraced diverse opportunities, even venturing into film production and owning a minor league hockey team. These experiences further illustrate how he turned obstacles into stepping stones toward success. Sadly, Yurich passed away in 2007 after battling cancer for several years. However, his legacy lives on through his inspiring story and numerous contributions to the entertainment industry. Robert Yurich's breakthrough moments began with his role in the TV show Spencer for Hire. His portrayal of Private Eye Spencer brought him widespread recognition and cemented his status as a leading man. Co-star Avery Brooks praised Yurich's ability to balance toughness and vulnerability, making the character relatable to audiences. Critics also took notice of Yurich's talent, with one critic stating, brings depth and humanity to what could have been just another hard-boiled detective. This success led to more high-profile roles, including starring in the popular series Dallas and Ugly Betty, where he continued to captivate viewers with his charm and versatility. Another significant moment came when Yurich was diagnosed with synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer. Instead of retreating from public life, Yurich used his platform to raise awareness about the disease. He founded the Robert Yurich Foundation, which supported cancer research and patient care. Through his advocacy, Yurich left a lasting legacy beyond his acting career. Peers and colleagues admired Yurich's resilience and dedication to fighting the disease. Actress Marla Gibbs, who worked with Yurich on The Love Boat, said, He never let his illness define him. He remained positive and focused on helping others. Despite facing personal challenges, Yurich's career continued to flourish. He returned to television in the sitcom, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, playing a recurring role until his passing in 2007. Colleagues remember Yurich fondly, praising his professionalism, kindness, and unwavering commitment to excellence. As actress Barbara Eden put it, Robert Yurich was a true gentleman, both on and off camera. His contributions to the entertainment industry will always be remembered. Renowned actor Robert Yurich was known for his versatility and authenticity on screen. With a career spanning over three decades, he left an indelible mark in both television and film industries. Born on December 19, 1946, in Toronto, Ohio, Yurich developed an early interest in acting during his college years. Yurich's artistic vision was deeply rooted in his belief that every character had a story worth telling. He once said, there's always something intriguing about each role you play. This mindset allowed him to fully immerse himself into various genres, ranging from detective series like Spencer for Hire to comedies such as Soap. His ability to convincingly portray diverse characters set him apart from many actors of his time. His unique approach often involved understanding the core essence of the character and then building around it. He explained, I try to find out who these people really are, what motivates them, what scares them, and then I build my performance based on those insights. This deep dive into the psyche of his roles gave depth and authenticity to his performances. Personal experiences greatly influenced Yurich's work. After battling synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer, he became an advocate for cancer research and patient care. In 1996, he founded the Robert Urich Foundation, which raised millions for cancer patients. This experience brought forth a new dimension in his acting, where he began choosing roles that highlighted human resilience and hope. World events also shaped Urich's perspective and consequently his artistry. During the Vietnam War era, he served in the United States Army, gaining first-hand knowledge of military life. Later, he chose to depict realistic soldiers in shows like Vegas, reflecting his respect for service members. Despite his success, Yurich remained grounded, attributing his longevity in the industry to humility and hard work. As he put it, it's not just about talent, it's about being professional, punctual, prepared these qualities shown through in every project he undertook, making Robert Yurich a beloved figure in American entertainment. Robert Yurich brought depth and humanity to every role he played, leaving a lasting impact on both audiences and his peers in the industry. Known for his work in television shows like Vegas, Spencer for Hire, and Ugly Betty, Yurich's contributions extended beyond his on-screen performances. 
industry expert David Bianculli, TV critic for NPR's Fresh Air, notes, Robert Urich was one of those rare actors who could play tough guys and sensitive souls with equal conviction. This versatility allowed him to tackle various genres, from detective series to comedies, shaping the landscape of American television. One notable example is Urich's portrayal of private investigator Spencer in Spencer for Hire. Based on Robert Parker's popular book series, the show introduced viewers to a new kind of hero, smart, resourceful, yet deeply caring about justice. Urich infused warmth into these characters, making them relatable and engaging. His influence extends beyond acting, reaching aspiring artists eager to follow in his footsteps. Actor Joe Mantegna recalls being inspired by Urich during their time together in the Rockford Files. He had such a commanding presence, but also this incredible ability to connect with people. He made it look easy, which I know isn't true, because I tried doing what he did. Moreover, Urich used his platform to give back to the community through charity work. After battling cancer himself, he became an advocate for cancer research and support groups, further cementing his legacy off-screen. Thus, Robert Urich remains a significant figure whose career transcends generations, continuing to resonate today thanks to reruns, streaming services, and the memories he left behind among colleagues and fans alike. His unique approach to storytelling continues to inspire, demonstrating that even in entertainment, authenticity, and heart can leave an indelible mark. Robert Urich was known for his successful acting career, but he also had a rich personal life filled with passions and values that informed his work. He was born on December 19, 1946, in Toronto, Ohio, where he grew up in a close-knit family. Urich's parents taught him the importance of hard work, integrity, and community service, which stayed with him throughout his life. Urich married twice, first to actress Judy Keats, and then to Heather Menger, who survived him after his passing in 2002 due to cancer. His love for his family was evident in how he prioritized them despite his busy schedule. Urich once said, I think my greatest accomplishment is my marriage and having two beautiful kids. This devotion to family was reflected in many of his roles, particularly as a father figure in TV shows like Spencer for Hire and Vegas. Apart from acting, Urich loved sports and played football during his time at Florida State University. Later, he combined his passion for sports and entertainment by hosting ESPN's The Sports Reporter's Show. Additionally, he supported various charities related to health research, education, and children's welfare. One notable effort includes raising funds for the John Wayne Cancer Institute through the Bob Urich Memorial Golf Tournament started by his friends and colleagues after his death. His commitment to giving back extended beyond financial support. Urich actively advocated for better healthcare policies and served as a spokesperson for several organizations promoting disease awareness and prevention. In doing so, he demonstrated a deep compassion for those struggling with illness and poverty. These experiences likely contributed to some of the strong, morally grounded characters he portrayed on screen. Overall, Robert Urich's personal life shaped his professional one significantly. Whether it was balancing work and family responsibilities, pursuing diverse hobbies, or engaging in philanthropy, these aspects enriched both his own life and influenced the compelling, multidimensional performances seen by audiences worldwide. Robert Urich left behind a rich legacy in the acting world. With a career spanning over three decades, he graced both television and film screens, leaving an indelible mark. His versatility was evident in his diverse roles, ranging from private detectives to lawyers, doctors, and even professional athletes. He starred in popular shows like Spencer for Hire and Vegas, which remain beloved by audiences today. Urich's impact transcended beyond just acting. He was also known for his advocacy work, particularly in raising awareness for various forms of cancer after being diagnosed himself. This demonstrates the power of using one's platform for good, something all aspiring professionals can learn from. For those hoping to follow in Robert Urich's footsteps, here's some advice firstly, Never underestimate the value of hard work and dedication. Success doesn't come overnight. It requires persistence and resilience. Secondly, diversify your skills. Just like Urich did, explore different genres and types of roles. Not only does this keep you challenged as an artist, but it also makes you more marketable. Lastly, remember that your influence extends beyond your craft. Use it wisely to affect positive change, whether in your community or further afield. Reflecting on Robert Urich's life and career, we see not just a successful actor, but a compassionate individual who used his fame to better the world around him. May his story inspire current 
and future generations to do the same. Robert Urich's journey in the entertainment industry was nothing short of passionate and innovative. Born on December 19, 1946, he began his career in television during the late 1970s, quickly making a name for himself through his captivating performances. Over the years, Urich demonstrated his versatility by appearing in various genres, from crime dramas like Spencer for Hire and Jake and the Fat Man to comedies such as Soap. Despite facing adversity, including battles with cancer, he continued to persevere and remained dedicated to his craft until his untimely passing in 2002. Urich's commitment to his roles left an indelible mark on both colleagues and audiences alike. His ability to bring depth and authenticity to each character transcended screens, creating memorable experiences that resonate even today. Through his work, he showed us all the power of creativity and determination. Reflecting on Urich's life, we can see how far passion and persistence can take us. In every step of his journey, he pushed boundaries and set new standards, forever changing the landscape of television. Let us remember Robert Urich not just for his iconic roles, but also for his unwavering spirit, one that serves as a testament to the potential within each of us. As we take time to reflect on the career of Robert Urich, let's hear your thoughts on his work and lasting impact. Known for many diverse roles, which performance of his stood out to you? Was it his portrayal of Private Eye Spencer in Spencer for Hire, or his role as the charming football coach in Eight is Enough? Urich was a familiar face on both the small and big screens. His talent spanned across genres, gracing us with unforgettable performances in dramas, comedies, and even made-for-TV movies. Did you have a favorite TV movie featuring Robert Urich? Many fans were captivated by his leading roles in The Courtship of Eddie's Father and Vegas, which character did he play that left the most significant impression on you? As we celebrate his accomplishments, please like this post, share your memories, and subscribe for more content centered around talented artists who shaped the entertainment industry. Don't forget to invite others to join our discussion. Let's keep the conversation going about one of television's beloved actors, Mr. Robert Urich. Share your stories now. We can't wait to...